Here at Shea Stadium on Saturday, the Mets needed to win to keep their season alive, and win they did. Their most dominating performance of the season as they waxed the Marlins 13 to nothing. The big story today, John Main, seven and two-thirds innings of no-hit ball before one skinny little hit. Yeah, as good as he's ever been in a Met uniform. He was just dominating, throwing as hard as he was in April. Had a 93 or 94-mile-an-hour fastball. Even the hitters he got behind, he would come back and just throw the ball by him. Hitting the corners, had a good little slider, and he went up and down the ladder to get the hitters. And then with seven and two-thirds, no-hit ball, Paul Hoover comes up with this full swing, swinging bunt, nothing Wright could do, and the no-hitter's over. And Hoover was only in the game because the starting catcher, Miguel Olivo, had been ejected earlier. More on that in a moment. The Mets also scored early and often in this game, led by Lasting's Millage. Well, Lasting's hadn't had a start in eight games, and boy, did he have a day. Three for five. This was his first home run of the ball game. This was a two-run shot that really opened the game up. And then in the fifth, he added another one here, a towering home run. And he just had a terrific day. Three, three, runs scored, three for five, two home runs, three RBI. Great day for Millage. Left-hander tomorrow and Dontrell Willis. He'll be back in that lineup. And with the Mets having built a big league early, tempers flared in the fifth. Luis Castillo, who already had three hits on the day, was at the plate when all of a sudden uh, Harvey Garcia got conveniently wild. Well, Garcia missed with the first pitch and then threw this pitch behind Castillo. I thought, Keith and I differed, I thought he was thrown right at Castillo. Castillo thought that, and the bench is empty. Well, it looked like they had things straightened out, but uh, when they went to make a pitching change, Reyes said something, and Olivo took offense, and there they started. And then it got out of control. The only real swing was taken by Olivo and absorbed by Mets third base coach Sandy Alomar, but tempers uh, took a while to calm. Olivo, the only man ejected. That led to Hoover being in the game, and isn't it ironic that Hoover winds up with the only hit off John Main and joins that select company of <laughs> opposition players who break up Met no hitters late the Jimmy Qualls's and the Joe Wallace's oh, and the Kip Pellows, and it, it goes that way sometimes. That's just amazing. So the Mets have still never had a no hitter, but they are alive going into Sunday. Uh, depending on what the Phillies are doing against the Nationals late Saturday afternoon, the Mets will either be even or one game behind going into the final game of the season. Tom Glavin against Dontrell Willis on the CW11 on Sunday afternoon.